all right what's up 3d makers today i'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to add any image virtually any image or logo from google into your 3d print using autodesk fusion 360. Um, you can use this for things like custom orders uh, for your customers for your family for yourself whoever it may be you can essentially use this tactic to create anything custom whether it be phone stands uh, lighter cases uh, anything I mean here you can see my example uh, for a custom order is a stand for or a stabilizer slash mount slash stand whatever you want to label it for a vape that I use called a puffco a puffco peak so this is uh, kind of what I've created um, and I had a customer request a custom um, bangles version of the stand. So this is the finished product. So this is something that you can do yourself if you wanted to. So we have the, uh, this is for a customer, mind you. Um, we have the bangles logo on the inside here taken from Google. This image is from Google. Super easy. And then we have the custom text, which I seen on the cake in this tutorial. We will also show you how to do custom text because it is a tad bit different than adding in an image from Google or, or a logo from Google. So stick around and we're going to show you how to uh, accomplish this on your own. Alright, so the first step is to, of course, either create or load in um, whatever it is that you want to add your image or logo to from Google um, so as you can see here for the sake of the video we literally just have a rectangle box to mess around with and that is what we're gonna do so you might think the first step is to pick out uh, whatever image or logo it is that you want to use and that is true you should of course have that in mind but uh, the first step we're gonna actually do is we're going to get this kind of ready to put the logo on so we're gonna come up here to the toolbar um, right up here at the top to construct we're gonna click the drop down menu and we're going to select an offset plane now what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a another plane um, for you to put your logo on or for you to put your sketch on um, so as you can see here it's gonna have you select from the original three axis that um, you start your design off with and this is where we select where we want to put our design so do we want the logo on the top if we wanted it on the top then what we would do is real quick we'll select that so we can select this we'll take away the body um, so what if you wanted it on the top what you would do is you'd select the bottom axis here and bring the body back here and you would slowly rise this plane up until it is slightly above where you want it to be which is we'll put it right about here just a little bit above have a little bit of space to move around with and work around with so if you wanted to put it on the top that is how you would do it if you wanted to put it on the side we would construct an offset plane on the side or on the front rather if you wanted to put it on the front we would do the same exact thing construct an offset plane select the um, ZX axis and we would select the offset plane and bring it out like so I usually stick around five millimeters like I said a little bit of wiggle room is not bad um, and that is how we begin so go ahead and set up your offset plane and then let's go ahead and get over to Google and select uh, an image to use alright now that we are over to Google um, let me explain a little bit how this will work so essentially we're looking for a particular type of file we're looking for an SVG file um, so it, it can be a little tough to find SVG files um, because they're made specifically for uh, like CAD design or for, for logos for like printing off t-shirts that sort of thing so it's not really like a your typical picture um, a lot of pictures obviously on Google uh, on Google, obviously, a lot of pictures are either PNG or JPEG or Web3 or uh, WebP or whatever it may be. So I'm going to show you guys a little website. I will leave this down in the description. It's called convertio.co. 
and um, this is what I use to convert all the files that I download off of Google into SVGs so that way we can import them into Autodesk Fusion 360. So once again, this website is Convertio.co. I will leave it down in the description. We're going to be using this in this tutorial to convert our image, which is this. So we're going to go ahead and download this. We uh, just Googled, we just Googled a, um, a YouTube logo and we found this image it's a PNG as you can see so we're gonna go ahead and save that we're gonna come over here to the converter we're gonna choose files we're gonna select that and this will convert it from a PNG to an SVG which allows us to put it into Fusion 360 so we're gonna hit convert and then it'll convert and then it'll allow you to download it we'll download it and we're good to go so let's go ahead and hop back over to Fusion 360 and put this on our print. All right, and we're back into Fusion 360. So we're gonna go ahead and put this YouTube logo on the front of the box here. Um, and what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and select the offset plane of which you wanna put the logo. Um, and if you lose, if you lose the little square, if you can't click on the little square like this one, just come down to the uh, to the history and find your plane and then you can select it that way so we don't want to edit it we just want to select it there we go so we'll click on that and you'll see that it highlights blue so this is on the front of the of the print so we'll go ahead and kind of move our camera that way and then we'll go ahead and come up here to the toolbox where it says insert we'll click on the drop down insert svg insert from computer and then you find your file uh, the file that you converted from PNG or JPEG into the SVG or if you just downloaded a regular SVG whatever it may have been but as long as it's an SVG file you are good and here you are you see our logo the YouTube logo pops in obviously it's disproportionate um, which will more than likely be uh, will be your case as well it'll be way too big or way too small so we'll come over here to this little drag and drop this little drag menu we'll size it down and the square here is how you move it so we'll go ahead and kind of line it up and then these are kind of how you move it up and down you know side to side if you want to keep it on the same the same line this is how you move it freely so we'll just go ahead and do that if you want to rotate it this is how you rotate it um, but for the sake of the video this will be good enough so we'll go ahead and come here we'll go ahead and click finish sketch and here you can see that our print or that our logo is in our is in our uh, file but it's not on our print right it's not engraved into our print like uh, like the puffco stand was so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to extrude if you don't know the hotkey is E so if you just press E it'll work so we got the extrude we'll go ahead and click our logo and then we're going to go ahead and come back we're going to uh, change the operation to cut we're going to come back and till we get a nice little engraving in there we'll go ahead and click ok because as you could see it turned red and there we are we have a little youtube logo engraved into our box um, now, if you don't want to, if you don't want to do the engrave option and you want it to um, extrude out, say you wanted this logo to extrude out instead of being engraved in, then what you do is you just simply do the same thing, except you come out, you change the operation to new body, and then you kind of just do the same thing. Sorry, I'm kind of messing up here. And then you can just kind of do the same thing. And there you can see um, there you can see we have it protrude out instead of engraving in. Um, obviously, with the play button, you need to have a little bit of uh, extrusion in for it to accentuate itself. Otherwise, it would just be one rectangle, right? But that is the gist of how you um, have, have how you add in your own logo or your own... Um, 
image from Google. Literally any image from Google, you can do this. Some of them are a little more complex than others. Like if there's a lot of intricacies within the image, like a lot of lines or a lot of um, like, hang on, we'll, we'll take a look at this this one here again. Like as you can see here, there's a lot more. There's a lot of lines and stuff. Like even we'll even go to the sketch here. Um, well. You could tell, like, there's just a lot more lines and um, extrusion points for this one, so you just kind of have to mess around with it and get the different different levels right to accentuate all the the right things for for the photo to look proper within the print or to engrave properly within the print. But nonetheless, um, like I said, it's a very simple simple thing to do. Um, and I uh, can't wait for, for you guys to start adding to your prints and to see what you guys can come up with. All right, and then uh, real quick, the icing on the cake, we'll go ahead and show you how to add custom text as well to the box or to uh, your print rather. So same thing, um, you're going to use a construction plane you're gonna, or uh, an offset plane from the construct drop down. So go ahead and set up your offset plane. Select your offset plane once you have it constructed. And then come over to create sketch, create a sketch on the offset plane. And then what you want to do is you want to come down to the create uh, drop down, click on text, and then it'll bring up this little menu. You select where you want to put your text. doesn't really matter where because you can move it around. And then whatever you want to say. So we'll say subscribe. You can center it like so. And then you can move it freely by just grabbing onto the text and moving it around. If you want to change the size, you can change the size of it like so. That's way too big. <laughs> if you want to change the size of it, you can change the size of it like that. If you wanted to flip it around, do whatever you wanted to do. Um, change the fonts, whatever you want to do. But nonetheless, that is um, kind of how you add the text in. Oh! And same thing as before. Um, if, as you can tell, it's not actually part of the print yet. So what you do is you go to extrude, you come over here, you click on the text, and then you either want to join it uh, with a new or uh, do a new body. You either want to do a new body or if you want to cut it, which will cut it. We'll uh, engrave it in there. So. There you are. That's uh, that's basically how you add your own custom logos and texts to your print. Hopefully, this was insightful um, in some way, shape, or form. Um, this is my first time ever recording a tutorial like this. So, if there are any, um, if there's any advice or tips and tricks you guys have for me to improve the quality or to improve the uh, lecture, please. Please let me know in the comments. Please. I will be looking out for them vigorously. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been B-Man, the 3D man, teaching you how to 3D print. And um, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or evening.